in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite little base defenses of the game. It's something that you can use a high amount, and you can actually feel pretty confident and safe with this. You're going to have decent contain on the quarterback. You're also going to be able to kind of cover a little bit of everything. You might not be able to cover everything, but like I said, a little bit of everything. Now, what you want to do real quick, um, before we dive into this, hit the sub button. It's free to do that. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. But I also want to let you know that here's something that you really need to do. Now, you can do this in the coaching adjustments menu. Um, but if you're in practice mode, what you want to do is you want to go to settings here in the pause menu, go to game options, and you want to turn auto flip off because we don't want the play to flip. Now, what's cool about this is an ultimate team, you can actually kind of tailor your roster to that. For example, this safety right here is going to be my user player. So I don't need necessarily a great player there. I just need someone with good speed. So we'll go with Johnson uh, at that position. And then what we can do now is it allows us to put really good cover players um, on the outside of this. And then this guy right here is going to be our blitzer. So we want this guy to be the fastest guy that we have. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of subbing in my best players at each position um, because I know that it's going to be an auto flip. Now, we're in the nickel triple formation today. If you don't know what the nickel triple is or you've never used it before, um, I would really encourage you to check out our Patreon. It's only $10 a month to sign up for that, and it allows you to get access to literally everything that we have uh, when it comes to Madden 22 as far as ebooks. We've got 15 offensive and defensive guides in there, and the nickel triple just happens to be one of 15 other ebooks. And you get access to all of them when you sign up for the Patreon. It's only $10 a month, so if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description. The other cool part about the Patreon is we update it two to four times a week with either updates to current ebooks, brand new ebooks, or just kind of general tips that we feel like you need to know uh, if you're going to be good at this game. So if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. The play we're going to use is the cover one LB blitz out of nickel triple. And again, you're not going to flip it. You're just going to come out in it, okay? And what you're going to do here, and this is how I like to run this, I like to show blitz. Now, I want you to notice something when we show blitz. When we show blitz, what's going to happen is you see we're going to get really good press animations on this left side of the field. However, the problem is if they audible. So you'll see here that if they audible, a lot of times this linebacker will come out of the gap. So you see here motion. See how the linebacker comes out of the gap whenever we audible or whenever we do motion. And then when we come back across, you're going to notice he's going to stay outside of the gap. This kind of messes up the blitz angle, but the other, but the thing about this is, like I said, you get really good press animations um, from it, just like that. So what I want to do now is show you what we like to do from a blitzing perspective. And if you think about the meta in Madden 22, it actually makes a lot of sense. Most people, whether they run bunch, whether they run trips, whether they run bunch tight end, they're going to want to generally roll out to the hand that their quarterback has. And most people at this point in the year have a right-handed uh, a right-handed quarterback. So what you're going to notice uh, within this within this concept is that if we take, we're going to go ahead and show blitz, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're just going to manually move him out here, QB contain, and then we're going to click on to the safety and come down and kind of fit this run gap right here. And what you're going to notice is you're going to get really fast pressure at the quarterback, as you can see right there, super clean, super fast pressure uh, coming in at the quarterback. Now, I want to talk about, for example, a situational, uh, situational adjustment. So let's say, for example, they are running um, the bunch. If they run the bunch, uh, what I want you to see real quick within this, within this uh, defense here is that you're going to notice that, obviously, we don't want to flip this, okay? But we're going to have this guy right here. Well, what we want to do with this is we want to go ahead and instead of showing blitz, we just want to kind of try to get these guys out of the way. We still want this guy to come out here. Here's why. Because if they try to roll out, they're going to roll out to the right. And so we're going to have great pressure coming off the right edge to kind of contain. And as you can see, even with a blocked running back, we're still able to get consistent pressure against the gun bunch meta. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and go back over here. I want to show you a couple of other key formations um, that you might need to know this, uh, that you might need to know this against. So for example, uh, gun tray. Very, very good example here. We're still staying in the same basic defense. And what you're going to notice is now we're going to get press animations on every receiver in the trips. And we're also going to get contained on the right side, which is where they like to roll out if they're running trips tight end. 
So you'll notice here we get great press animations. And also you're going to notice that that contain is going to do a really good job of containing. It's also going to do a good job of coming around and providing us some pressure uh, against, the, against the quarterback. Let's say, for example, that they were to um, go ahead and you know try to block their tight end. And we'll show you that real quick here. So again, we'll just uh, max protect and see if we can't show you some pressure. So the beauty of this is now you're going to have this guy over here. And again, you're just sliding him out. Literally the setup, slide him out and QB contain. I like to show blitz more so for the coverage. You do not have to show blitz for the pressure. But what you'll see now is again, you're going to get super fast, super clean pressure off of the edge. And as you can see, it's very, very effective. So the beauty of this blitz is not only the fact that you're going to get good pressure, which you are going to get good pressure, but by showing blitz, you're going to get great press coverage. You're also going to get really, really good contain. Not only on the right side, but you're also going to get good contain um, on the left side. For example, let's say if I go PA counter go here. Now I can try to roll out, but as you can see, they're going to instantly shed and then you know they're going to be forced to throw it up. So you got a nice little cover one style of defense. One last little piece of this. This is more of a bunch, uh, a bunch uh, formation tip. But I do want to share this with you. So if they're running the gun bunch formation, and let's say they're running uh, something like, let's just say they're running mesh spot. And what you can do from this, so you're in cover one linebacker blitz, you're going to slide this guy out, and then you're going to QB contain him. Now against bunch, I don't actually typically press, but you can show blitz and they will uh, oftentimes get at least a jam on the number one, number two receiver. But what I like to do in this situation is I'm going to take this guy, this defensive tackle, Oliver, and I'm actually going to put him in a bluff blitz. What that's going to do is it's going to give a three rec on the same side as the running back with man coverage. So you're going to notice a little swap off. And now our three rec is going to actually become that middle linebacker. And we've now turned a cover one blitz, which has still got great pressure, into a cover one coverage defense. So again, one of my favorite little tricks of the trade, especially out of formations like bunch or U-trips, where the tight end is on the opposite side of the running back, whereas trips tight end and bunch tight end, it's on the same side. It's a little bit different in terms of how you're going to want to play coverage against it. But anyways, guys, this is just a sneak peek of our nickel triple defense. If you want to learn the entire triple formation, uh, nickel triple is the most adaptable defense in this game. I think it provides you the best combination of pressure, coverage, and shed defenses. So if you want to learn my entire nickel triple scheme, join the Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below where you can click on that. And uh, you can sign up for the Patreon today for just $10 a month. And the cool part about it is, like I said, as soon as you sign up, you don't only get access to the triple, you'll get access to all 15 of my Madden 22 offenses and defenses. And then the cool part about that as well is it's a month-to-month -month membership. So if you want to cancel it, you certainly can do that. You don't have to sign up for a year or anything. You can if you want. It will save you some money. But um, it's just a great way to get better at the game. And it's also got private messaging platforms within it where you can ask your questions or chat back and forth or whatever. Whatever it takes to get you guys better Madden players, um, we try to provide that over at the Patreon. So if you want to get better at the game, you want to learn what the top players are doing, why they're doing it, and then maybe some tweaks and twists that we can add into that, uh, I'd encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for that. Again, it's only $10 a month. Unlocks the entire membership. Uh, so if you are still watching and you want to check that out, head on down to the description below and click on the link and go join the Patreon.